we even go deep in? Oh, yes. Take out all that dead growth out. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hi, I'm Roger Toombs. Now, we would all love to have the perfect garden, but trees, shrubs and bushes need that extra bit of care. Most of us haven't got the skills, the knowledge or the confidence to do it properly, or perhaps even the tools. So today I'm joined by Jeff Hodge, who's a gardening expert and green finger extraordinaire to show us how it's done. So Jeff, just how do we do pruning properly? Well Roger, pruning is a vital job to do with all your plants, and it's something that scares the living daylights out of a lot of people, and often really worry about how they should be doing it. And I divide gardeners into two types. I've got the hairdressers, who are constantly snipping away at their plants, giving them short backs and sides. Uh -huh. And then I've got the butchers, who are desperate to get right to the meat of the plant and hack out as much growth as possible. I'm guilty of that one. A lot of people are, but I think in truth, you need a bit of both. And you've got to have a good reason to do any pruning. So maybe you should be thinking about maybe it's getting too big, maybe you want to be pruning for shape or for stature, getting rid of thin growth, and getting rid of the four Ds which are the dead, diseased, dying and damaged growth, that's vitally important. But also, think about pruning for flowering or fruiting or for stem and leaf colour. And look at this Wygela, for instance. This is best done immediately after flowering. These shoots have all just flowered. So take the growth right down to this bud here. This will improve the flowering next year and improve the leaf colouring during this autumn and through the winter. Well, now we know the reasons why we should be pruning, but how do we ensure we do it correctly? Well, let's step over here to this choice here, Tonata. Roger, here's one of the four Ds, a typical piece of dying growth. So if you move that to one side, whatever growth you're pruning, it's vital you take it right down to a bud or a growth point or even a leaf where it's joining a main stem. Well, I've seen how we cut, but are there any other considerations when pruning? Well, most plants need to be pruned at a specific time of year, but you'll have to find that information online or in a book. Well, Roger, it's important to make clean cuts, and traditionally I've always used a pair of bypass secateurs, because they do give a lovely clean cut, but you've got a beautiful new piece of kit there. Indeed I have, traditional and handheld that, and this is something completely different, a little lithium-ion powered cordless pruner. Wow. A little safety button and the trigger and instead of squeezing for each cut all you do the little bit of a trigger and we have the bypass blade just there. No so effort. Cut, indeed no effort it'll do the same sort of branches up to 14 millimeters on one single bite nice and clean cut and that will go on for about a thousand cuts on one charge. So perhaps ideal for someone with arthritis or lots of single stem cutting and a couple of bob to spare. Well, there you have it. A little regular garden maintenance with the right tools at the right time prevents your garden ending up looking like a jungle.